Records revealing a century of change on the waterways of South Wales, collated by members of the Glamorgan Anglers Club, are being made available to the public for the very first time. Yes, the journals dating back to the 1920s detail how our lakes and rivers were blighted by pollution and poaching. But they also provide a wealth of social history, as Karen Jones has been finding out. Since 1904, the Glamorgan Anglers Club has been fishing the waters of Wales. With 800 members, it's one of the largest and oldest in the country. But what sets this club apart is that its founding members love nothing more than putting pen to paper. Over thousands of pages, they detailed every aspect of the club's activities, from introducing more fish stocks into the rivers to the nuts and bolts of the club's finances, which, they happily noted, were boosted by card games. To the lady members, it's pleasing to see them rolled up at our outings, and it is to them thanks are due to the success of the whist drives. These journals had been gathering dust for years, but current club members believe it's finally time to see them for what they really are, a written history of Wales from the water's edge. It's a, an indicator of society at the time. And there's all sorts of references to backgrounds um, not only of individuals, of um, members, but of society as whole and of events that are happening at the time. The journals cover much of the 20th century. During the general strike of 1926, the club was trying to acquire stretches of water from the Great Western Railway. On VE Day in 1945, members noted that fish on the River Taff were being poisoned by pollution in huge numbers. And as the world held its breath during the Cuban Missile Crisis of 62, the club ordered 1,000 fingling trout at a cost of £25 to repopulate our rivers. Fantastic. And they're in really super condition. Now, those journals have found a new and permanent home here at the Glamorgan Archives, where they'll be accessible to the general public for the very first time. Although it's very interesting from an angling point of view and from a sporting point of view, it also actually has much broader, wider social and political contexts. So it's a really real, really unselfconscious representation of history and that, I think, is one of the things that's really special about it. So this is journey's end for these journals. Here they'll be catalogued and conserved for historians and anglers to enjoy. Karen Jones, BBC Wales Today at Glamorgan Archives in Cardiff.